What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. I'm doing a quick video. I did a video um, a couple weeks ago, or about a month ago, on the Amazon Luna service. Um, so if you haven't seen that, guys, go check it out. Um, and uh, I'm doing a quick unboxing video and uh, of the Amazon Luna controller I just got in uh, yesterday. I haven't opened it yet, so I um, kind of want to check that out and show you guys what you get in the box and uh, what to expect um from uh this certain controller that is supposed to be a smart controller for the amazon luna service which i personally find quite a bit better than stadia and that's why i got rid of my stadia in lieu of the luna um so i uh, hope you guys enjoy make sure uh, if you haven't uh subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button that like button make sure you hit that uh you know that uh b bell notification uh, so you guys know when i upload videos i try to upload once to twice a week, um, and uh, yeah, make sure you guys go back and check out the videos, the unboxing videos, and the co -op, couch co-op videos that um, I've been doing uh, with uh, my wife. So, hope you guys enjoy, and let's uh, check out the controller. Alright guys, here we have the um, Amazon Luna controller. Um, I think the first thing that caught my eye, and I know this is a little silly sounding, but is the... Um, the purple uh purple is my favorite color so uh when i had seen this i thought it was uh, really cool but um anyways i haven't opened it yet so let's go ahead and open it together and let's uh see what's in this biatch all right so uh first of all just a little packaging detail here um you know i find the the aesthetics are pretty nice obviously you know um i love uh purple um it's just some design for amazon luna uh it's a high-performance controller made for its cloud gaming service, so it lets you go back to the home menu a lot faster, and you pick up and play. And this one also is not, um, it is Wi-Fi, and it's also Bluetooth, so you can hook up to your Wi-Fi in your home, and it makes it a lot easier to uh, play your Luna games. It's also, um, uh, the input lag is uh, a lot faster uh, than, um, say, a Bluetooth controller that would play on your PC. Um, and this also works, as long as you're on your Wi-Fi, it works on your smart TV, if you have Luna on your smart TV, or your Chromecast, or, you know, your PC or your phone. So, depending on what phone you have, um, I'm not sure if Luna's available for all phones yet, but, um, you guys check that out. Um, so we have a little pull tab right here, so go ahead and pull that. There we go. A little ASMR for you, if you guys heard that. And uh, let's pop this baby open. Now, my first impressions of this controller, and I know I, I see you know a lot of YouTubers um, talk about the um, the aesthetics and them saying that it reminds them of the Xbox controller. Understandably, it reminds you of the Xbox controller. Um, however, it reminds me more of the Switch Pro controller. It just it it, it rings out Switch Pro controller to me. So that's uh, that's what I see. Anyways, um, I can tell you right off the bat, just holding it in my hands, um, it's very, it's it's well made. It's not uh, cheap at all. It's heavy, um, and this is without batteries. It does take uh, two double A's uh, here in the back, so there is no rechargeable unless you can find some rechargeable batteries for it. Um, it is, does have the Amazon logo on the back there. Um, the these are nice. These these feel good. Um, your joysticks feel really good. Thumbsticks, whatever. D-pad. D-pad's decent. Um, it does go in all different directions, so I can press one direction and not have them all pressed. I hate that a lot. Here's your home button here, just like in an Xbox. Um, microphone button to turn the mic off for live gaming. Your, your uh, menu button, and um, I'm assuming that's your, like, I don't know, back button or, or select, whatever. Um, you have your LV, RB, and your triggers. Uh, and it is C. If you wanted to hook it, yeah, it's C. If you wanted to hook it up to um, your computer via, um, you know, uh, via cord, you could. Um, and then uh, we have a 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom. Um, black and purple aesthetics, once again, are nice. The back of it, however, is textured. So if you guys are into the textured grip, this one's for you. If you're not, uh, you can really feel the texture so it's not like super smooth. 
However, the back has these little grooves. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me try to, right there, where your palms fit very naturally in there. And I really like that, it feels good. And it's wide, so it feels feels good. So for somebody with bigger hands, it feels, it feels really, really good. Let's go ahead and put that aside. Let's see what else is in the box. The boxing's nice, the presentation's nice. Um, that's always a nice thing and a nice premium product should have. Um, it does come up with two batteries uh, for you. Um, if you get Amazon branded batteries, we do have a little manual. Um, however, this time is not paper toilet paper manual. It's actually manual. Um, and then this also gives you the um, the scan to go ahead and um, download the Amazon controller app. And what you want to do is you want to put that in your phone, and it'll it'll allow you to get your controller to play to on to the Wi-Fi, so you can you can have it on your Wi-Fi, which is really cool. And all we have are two simple double A's and that's it guys I mean like I said quick video I just want to show you guys uh, the uh, lunar controller uh, Luna controller and I wanted to see uh, let me actually let me know in the comments if you guys have had a chance to check out Luna yet or you've had a chance to play with this controller or any of the games on there Previously, I was playing with the Power A Fusion Pro controller, um, so I'll be checking this out to see how much better the lag times are. Um, personally, for me, I think Luna is a better service, and I've had less problems with it as far as a streaming cloud-based service. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section about well, cloud gaming in general. What you guys think about that, as opposed to physical based gaming. I, I still love physical discs. I still will buy physical discs and stuff like that, but I think cloud gaming is very convenient, say if you're traveling or something like that. I think it's pretty cool as long as you have the internet available. Um, so let me know what you think and uh, go ahead and leave some comments. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out. We're trying to hit that 100 subscriber goal and we're so close to it. Um, so tell your friends about the channel. Uh, we have a lot of fun here and um, you know, uh, we're just uh, trying to uh, trying to get these videos out to you guys and just have a blast. So, thanks guys for watching once again. Uh, Lockdown Legion. I'll see you later. And until next time, peace and stay safe.